I am John Batham. This is Trailers from Hell. When we talk about John Ford's stagecoach, I'm reminded of William Goldman's famous quote, in Hollywood, nobody knows anything. Almost every huge hit in movies was turned down by several studios before finally getting made reluctantly. I mean, we're talking about films like The French Connection, E.T., Star Wars, Home Alone, Titanic, Forrest Gump, Passion of the Christ. That's just a few that come off the top of my head. I'm sure there's tons more. Well, John Ford bought the story of Stagecoach from Collier's Magazine for $2,500 and took it to every studio in town. Nobody wanted to make it. And finally, his friend Walter Wanger, who is an independent producer at United Artists, said, okay, we can do it here, but we have to make it for peanuts. So instead of going out for big stars like uh, Gary Cooper and Marlena Dietrich that Wanger wanted, they settled for John Ford's prop man, Marion Morrison, John Wayne. Ford took this shooting company up to Monument Valley, which had never been shot before. He shot there for four days and then finished the film uh, back at the Goldwyn Studios in Hollywood. The movie's high point is a 10-minute chase sequence where Geronimo's war party tries to run down uh, the stagecoach and kill everybody inside. And it's one of those seminal chases in movies that we always go back and refer to because some of the greatest stunts in movies were done there. Yakima Canute, who was the granddaddy of stuntmen, has two stunts in there that are mind-boggling. One where he's doubling John Wayne, and he leaps from the stagecoach onto the back of uh, the team of six horses and makes his way all the way up to the front to retrieve the reins. And the other one is where Yakima Canute is doubling one of Geronimo's war party, and he leaps from a running horse, and they're at full gallop, onto the head of the, the lead horse, then gets shot by John Wayne. He falls underneath the horses and is run over by a team of six horses at full gallop and the stagecoach. John Wayne remembers that uh, John Ford was probably one of the meanest, nastiest directors on the planet, uh, and his actors were scared shitless of him. I mean, I try to tell my students at Chapman that uh, they should be nice and helpful to the actors and supportive, and, and John Ford was anything but. And Claire Trevor uh, reports in, uh, in an article a few years ago that she watched John Ford walk up to John Wayne, grab him by the chin, and John Wayne was about a foot taller than John Ford, and say, what are you doing with your mouth? Why are you moving your mouth so much? You know, in pictures, you don't act with your mouth, you act with your eyes. Well, when the picture opened, it was a huge success. It had only cost $222,000, and the studio heads who had all turned it down grumbled and said, well, I mean, uh, it's too long, it should have been shot in color, uh, all of this stuff, but it didn't matter. It had become uh, a huge hit, and William Goldman was once again proved right in Hollywood, Nobody knows anything.